about the importance of this course and its changes within tourism film in post-pandemic conditions. Film as a destination marketing tool has always been considered an important one and media fiction as a tourism promotional tool has been recognized by Cohen since 1986. Also, Crow and Walker, in their survey in 2001, have concluded that citizens and the people that were interviewed considered of an important impact that their region or their towns uh, that were represented in films, in, in real movies, are of high impact for this particular field. Actually, Steve Pan also considers that tourism commercials form a destination's image. And uh, in our uh, presentation, we seek at recognizing how post-pandemic tourism commercials instill new needs for post-pandemic on-site tourism because in the literature there is a high debate around the VR, for instance, the VR tourism and uh, other augmented practices in tourism, but we believe that commercials are not only a starting point of uh, maybe creating tourism or even making tourism, but we talk here mainly about the dichotomy space, place, and this led in 2018 to the reinterpretation of Grema's constitutional model by us, in which we demonstrated that um, actually, the, the virtual, let's say, the virtual uh, consumption of the destination or of the destination image is very important and it may be like a tampon space between the location, the actual location of the tourist and the potential destination. Now, uh, on one hand, we have tourism as a major field and uh, of a highly important field of study. And on the other hand, we have linguistics. Um, we believe, uh, and also scholars like Danzin and Lincoln showed that um, tourism uh, in the fourth phase of its methodological development concluded that uh, it should uh, gain more uh, experience by um, appropriating methodologies from other fields of study, among which semiotics. And McCannell in 1989 is the one who actually opened the road to this possibility of joining semiotic methodologies or linguistic methodologies in tourism promotional practice. And eventually, as Dunn sustains since 1966, um, this road is, is actually very possible as um, we believe that tourism has evolved along the ideologies and epistemologies uh, from linguistics. We know that in the structuralist phase we had a linguistic turn, a strong linguistic turn. But then we had the, the, the visual turn and the media was highly impacted by the work of 
the scholars in in uh, in this area. Tourism also was highly impacted as we see nowadays commercials with mainly no text but loads of visual techniques. Back then the scholars concluded that we can actually talk about a promotional tourism language and this included three main techniques or promotional strategies that remain valid even for nowadays uh, commercials and we see at demonstrating this through a constructivist uh, methodology, discourse analysis methodology and coming back now to the three main uh, techniques uh, we are going to enumerate them and uh, we talk here about the um, the, the, the textual techniques, so verbal techniques, then the visual ones and the mixed techniques, which include both of, of them. Of course, in the film, uh, in the case of film, uh, uh, tourism film, um, we explore mainly the, the third, the third technique. Uh, our corpus of study is constituted uh, uh, from the World's Tourism Film Awards uh, 2020 and uh, we, are, uh, we have actually analyzed uh, some film, film um, uh, commercials from Slovenia, from Austria, mainly from Austria because we have uh, different examples which help us in our demonstration. So uh, um, our conclusions are uh, in our uh, corpus work um, that the discourse has changed not in strategy because we, we recognize verbal techniques like keying or languaging, uh, for instance, in, uh, in, uh, in the Slovenia uh, uh, film, so the, the country, uh, the, to the, the tourism country uh, section, we have still verbs such as imagine, flourish, dream. We also have um, keywords such as sun or kingdom. We have pronouns such as you or me. But the post-pandemic is recognizable through the same, actually through the same verbal techniques because we have, um, let's say, uh, slogans in miniature, such as time to stay home. We have continue our journey and the hashtag travel tomorrow. So as we were saying at the beginning of the, the presentation, uh, the post-pandemic tourism commercials base a lot on inducing new needs, inducing new needs, and also ad adapting, actually adapting to the present context. Um, so this marketing tool of promoting tourism is not aiming like the VR or other augmented technologies of consuming tourism is not aiming at virtually consuming uh, tourism. No, it is, it is just the, the tampon space that we talk about in our reinterpreted gray mass model. So it's this tampon space um, that releases uh, the potential tourists' way 
towards the destination. So we are going ahead with our analysis. We see that uh, Austria as another example for country tourism chose a typical hipster man. Okay, so it addresses the present needs of the public. And we see here, actually, we, we recognize here a film-induced technique that Beaton uh, talks a lot about uh, because the whole commercial is realized in the style of hangover movie. But instead, we have no text. So the trend that we had before 2020 confirms. And uh, uh, of course, we have a visual epics throughout the, the the whole film. Vienna as a cityscape, as um, um, uh, as a city uh, commercial type, is entitled The Sleeping Beauty, Vienna and the Sleeping Beauty. We again have actually uh, induced a narrative in this respect, the Sleeping Beauty, the story, and the whole film actually r represents Vienna with buildings, streets, uh, filmed during the lockdown, the March uh, lockdown. Actually, uh, the producers declare that they took the opportunity to, to do that. We also see a statue with a mask so this is a very strong sign and a lot of empty, empty uh, spaces. So in conclusion, we do not see changes in respect with the techniques. So many of our conclusions that we had before 2020 are uh, applicable, but we see some uh, adaptation of the discourse. And of course, semiotic had to be, again, uh, an important factor in our uh, methodological approach, because we know that a, a tourism commercial, uh, especially, is a representation of the destination. So a sign also is or stands many times for something else than itself, which we know media also does. Thank you very much for your patience.